All right, so I'm going to be showing you how you can jailbreak any PS3 in 2024. It can be PS3 Slim, PS3 Super Slim, PS3 Fat, no matter what PS3 that you have, you can actually jailbreak and it can be on the latest firmware as well. That is the 4.91.1. So basically, if you have a PS3, you can jailbreak. And if you're wondering what jailbroken PS3 does, so basically you can install games directly into your hard drive from your USB drive. Literally you can just get the games for free just like that. And if you have Googled uh, how to jailbreak PS3, you probably know. So I'm not going to waste any more time to that. So let's get right into it. All right. So before we go any further, there are a few requirements. So as you can see, I'm on PS3 right now. And by the way, I'm using ps3 slim you can do this on ps3 super slim as well and ps3 fat so yeah so first of all you're gonna have to get into your ps3 and then you're gonna have to go to the system settings so i'll just go ahead and do that go to settings and then you have to look for the system settings that's gonna be above in like six or seventh row and then you're gonna have to go to system information so you can see right here i'm on 4.91 that is the latest firmware that came out few weeks ago and we're going to be jailbreaking this one and the uh, second thing you need to make sure is that your automatic updates are turned off and third thing make sure you are logged out of any of the accounts that you have in your playstation so once you have made sure you're going to have to now make a usb drive and it's pretty simple it's not a rocket science okay so you need to have a usb drive with formatted into fat32 format so as you can see my usb drive is in fat32 format so you need to make sure you have that and i would suggest you to use a smaller usb let's say four gigs that will work and then you're going to be needing this update file that update file link is going to be in the description and uh, in my discord server and now what you want to do is you're going to have to make a folder into usb called ps3 all capital and then inside that folder make another folder called update make sure it's on all capital all caps and now you're going to have to copy this update file inside that folder and make sure it's also named as ps3 update pup just like this so make sure you put it inside the ps3 update ps3 update inside here and now once you have done that your usb is ready and now all of your computer work is completely done so remember ps3 inside ps3 update inside that update folder ps3 update file and now you're gonna have to plug that usb onto the right side of the ps3 onto the right port and then you're gonna have to update it using a usb and when you do that you will see this update 4.91.1 hfw that is the hybrid firmware and updating might take about 10 minutes and it can be less as well if your ps3 is in good condition mine was really dusty and the ssd not the ssd sorry the hdd was pretty slow so updating is gonna take time and also you might get error while you are updating don't worry about it if you can't update it using your ps3 menu you can update it using the recovery mode or the safe mode as well it's pretty simple you can google it up but i would just suggest update it normally like i did and now once the ps3 is done it will restart and once the ps3 restart you're gonna have to go to the internet browser and your ps3 is going to restart just normally no fancy stuff is going to happen just yet so go to your ps3 settings and remember from here every step is crucial you have to make sure you follow my instructions so go to your internet browser and make sure you're connected to the internet and not logged in so once you're into the internet browser you're going to have to Go to home page and click on use blank page and restart the browser i've already done that and then you're gonna have to delete all the cookies delete all the cache files just like this and then you're gonna have to bookmark a link 
that I have already bookmarked, but the link is going to be on screen and also in the description. So it should be this one right here, PS3 HEN Auto Installer. And on top, you can see the link as well. And as soon as you go into that link, your PS3 is going to download a P3T file. And then you will have to click here, Auto HEN, HEN, Auto Install HEN. And once you have done it, it will say HEN um, install successfully and then it will start initial initializing. And then on top you will see a few pop-up um, menu, uh, pop-up notifications. And then it's going to download another file that will be the PKG file of the HEN installer. And this is going to take just a few seconds. and here if you have any of the usb connected to your playstation 3 i would suggest you to disconnect them because sometimes what happens is if you have a usb your downloading or installing part gonna get stuck and freeze your playstation 3 that happened to me it might not happen to you but just to make sure you don't connect any of the usb on this part and once this file is downloaded you will be good to go. Your PS3 is going to install this file. It'll take just a few seconds again. And now once the installation is done, you don't have to do anything from here. You will see a pop up on top. The notification will say that your PS3 installation completed. Prepare for reboot. So from here, just stay on the screen and your PS3 is going to reboot. I'll just go blank and then it'll just reboot. And if your PS3 stuck on this screen, just restart. And once you restart, you will see there's going to be an egg written HEN on it. And that means your PS3 is successfully jailbroken. But not just yet. You're going to have to do one more step. So now you're going to have to get inside to your PS3 XMB menu or the home screen, whatever you call it. And uh, just choose any of the account. And again, do not log in into your PS3 account once it's jailbroken. And from here, you're going to have to click here. Enable HEN. It'll be into your game section. And this is going to load something onto your PS3 and it will say on top welcome to PS3 and 3.30 and now your PS3 is jailbroken then you can go to P PKG manager and then connect a hard drive or USB drive to install the games and uh, just to let you know you can install games that are on PKG file and ISO file and to get ISO games you have to use multi-man so yeah this is how you can jailbreak PS3 in 2024 and hope you guys enjoyed it and find it useful and i'll catch you in the next one peace out